Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a tutorial on this look right here and this is completely inspired slash recreated by Demi Lovato's music video Neon Lights. I kind of did an interpretation on a mix of where she's in the like full on black light and also some shots where she's like half in the black light, half in normal light, half in I don't know what kind of light. Of course you have to know that once a black light goes on to this, the eyes light up and you will see that under a black light. So yeah, lots and lots of you wanted to see a tutorial on this look and here I am finally doing it for you. So if you wanna know how to get this Demi Lovato Neon Lights inspired look, then please keep on watching. So I already applied my base to prevent my eyeshadow from creasing and for that I used my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. To give my crease just a little bit of definition, I'm gonna take Heroin Eyeshadow by Illamasqua and with this lightly bring in some definition in the crease. Nothing harsh, nothing drastic, just a little bit of definition to make the eye sink in a little bit more. And then with an even bigger brush, just start diffusing that. For the blue eyeliner, I will be using my Creolon UV Day Glow Aqua Color in UV Blue. And I just want to activate that with some water. And the first thing you want to do is make that line for how big you want the eyeliner to become. As you can see, this is quite drastic and this is quite big. So I'm going to make that blue line really long and high up. Now from there, Bring it to the lid and make it a really thick cat eyeliner. With this, go all the way to the inner corner and just make it a thick cat liner. For the yellow and the green, I'll be taking this Creolon UV Day Glow Aqua Color in UV Yellow. And when you mix this with the blue, it turns out in a UV Green. So that is perfect. And for this as well, you want to activate it with some water. And what you want to do is start placing a line of the UV Yellow above the blue. So you will end up having a blue line with a yellow line on top. And then later on, you're going to blend the two together. And if they mix, that's perfectly fine because you want the green to be your transition color. So when they mix, it's not a bad thing, it's a good thing. Okay, and basically what you want to do now is go back and forth with the blue and the yellow to kind of give it a nice gradient and to give it a nice mixture from blue to green to yellow. So right now what I'm doing is I'm going back with my blue and I'm going back in and sort of diffusing it into the green, giving it a nice gradient effect. Now I'm taking my yellow again and I'm going on top and making the green a little bit brighter and adding more of the yellow. Okay, for the bottom, I'm gonna take the UV blue again. And for this, you first wanna make a line that goes away from the inner corner of your eye. So instead of connecting it to the inner corner, sort of drag it down a little bit more. From there, Follow it along your lower lash line and don't be afraid to make it a little bit thicker and give it some depth. And now you want to connect the bottom to the top. And then quickly before it dries, take a brush and sort of diffuse the edges of that blue to blend it in and give it a more eyeshadowy effect. Now take some of your favorite concealer. This is my Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Cover. And with that, we're gonna clean up the edges a bit. With the concealer, we're gonna give the eyeliner a perfect sort of sharp edge. And I think this will help you guys a lot because I know a lot of you were thinking like, oh God, how do I even get it that sharp? Concealer does the trick. And if you feel like you need to blend a bit more, just take that brush again and blend the edges. I will now be taking my Sleek Acid palette and from that I will be using the green and the yellow. So with the yellow, I'm gonna brighten up the top line a bit and right now you're really scared because it looks like crap, but trust me, we'll be fine. And then simply what you wanna do is with a clean brush, 
kind of wipe it away and then you're left with a brighter yellow and now with some of the green I'm gonna make the green pop a little bit more and give it a nicer gradient into the blue. For that gap on the inner corner, I'll be filling it up with Illamasqua eyeshadow in Anya. So just fill up that gap right here that we left bare. To add some shimmer to the look, I'll be taking the Balm Overshadow Sex Pot Pigment in No Money, No Honey. And you just want that on this inner corner right here and then blend it up. And I love how that adds some glamour to the look. For my waterline, I'll be using my Urban Decay 24-7 Eyeliner in Clash. And now all you want to do is apply some mascara and lashes. And the mascara I'll be using is my Makeup Studio Waterproof 3D Extra Black. And for my lashes, I will be using these by MAC. And these are the number 36. Okay, so for cheeks, what you want to do is first contour the crap out of your face because when Demi was doing some side shots, you could really see that her makeup artist contoured a lot. So for that, I'll be taking my Illamasqua eyeshadow in Heroin. And thumbs up for me actually showing you how I contour today. Normally, I skip this step. Today, I'm showing you. Like, not in full detail, but I'm showing you. That's something. Then to buff this out and add some warmth to my face, I'm going to take my Illamesca blush in Disobey. For my blush, I'll be taking this Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Exposed. And that just adds the tiniest bit of color but still adds color, you know? So it's not like you're brushing on nothing. You can actually see that it brightens up the skin and it gives you a little bit of color, but nothing too drastic, whereas you have like eyes and, and blush and lips and it's just really nicely balanced. Then for my highlight, I will be taking my The Balm Overshadow Sex Pot in No Money, No Honey again. And you definitely wanna go for a strong glow on the face because that is what Demi was rocking as well. So um, get your like high shine product and just make yourself a glowy Demi Lovato. <laughs> Okay, so for lips, it's kind of your own preference what you want to do with them. If you wanted to keep all the attention to the eyes, I would highly suggest applying a nude lipstick. And if you're actually going to a black light party where you really want your lips to pop just like Demi's lips did, um, what I suggest is painting your lips with another Creolon uh, UV Day Glow Aqua Color. And this is the one in UV Pink. But because that is going to show up like crazy on the lips and that is going to be like super super intense bright in normal light, I think that is a little bit too much. So what I'm going to do is line my lips with my Bobbi Brown Pale Pink Lip Liner first, and then on top apply a soft baby pink color, and this is by Wet n Wild, and this is 901B Think Pink Lipstick. And I think that's the perfect soft pinky color that Demi was wearing in the scenes without the black light. And that guys completes this long-awaited Demi Lovato Neon Lights makeup tutorial. So that's it. If you want a full list of every single product mentioned and used in this video, go to my website, NikkiTutorials.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. That all is Nikki Tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you liked it. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I will see you guys on Friday. Bye, guys.